I finally got the message, you know. He didn't love me. He didn't, he didn't even like me. Oh, I think you're a really great girl, but nobody cares. Ghost me. Spare me. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. Like, men want their lives as is. They want to go about their day exactly as it is do whatever they would normally do and just want somebody there when it's convenient for them or, you know, for the things they want to do. Like, I'm convince me I'm wrong. I am not equipped to go on dates. The last time I was single, I was 24 and the dating pool was everyone. And now it's like a shallow funnel of age appropriate men who are old and gross. And I don't want to do that. I know that you think that it's that bad, but honestly, it's a lot worse. Welcome back guys to another video of women hitting the wall, the wall, the wall. Now some of you may be wondering why I posted so many women saying the same thing. Because they think it's funny. Because they want to be ironic that they can't find the man. But that when they were 24, every man wanted to date them. And now they can't find the man that they want. But unironically, all of them, all of them say the wall isn't real. And they don't understand just by showing us those videos, they prove the wall exists. And there are hundreds, hundreds of videos using the same sound, guys. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. Where? Where did all the good men go? If you're yeah. not happy for a marriage, <laughs> just get a divorce. And then go find someone new so you can enjoy some more temporary happiness. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. Uh, if your husband is a good guy and you're ready for a divorce, you're not just a bad person. You're a shit person and, and you're a fucking disaster. What happened to, for better or for worse, through sickness and in health? What happened to that? That doesn't mean anything today, guys. Anything. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. Oh, yes, you are. If you think you can betray your partner by leaving them when they've done nothing wrong, when they've been nothing but a loving, supportive partner who's a good guy, if you think breaking your vows because you're bored means you're still a good person, you are absolutely by no means, by no means even a decent person. True. She's not a decent person, guys. And you will see towards the end why she isn't a good person and why she's giving so much bad advice. This is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce. You're not a bad person. This is some of the worst advice I've seen. One of the biggest problems that we're facing in a society today is we think peaceful, good relationships are boring. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce. You're not a bad person. Divorce men have a 31% chance of <clears throat> increased chance of dying early. While women only suffer an 18% increase in their chances of dying early when divorced. Divorced men are over eight times more likely to commit suicide than divorced women. Men are nearly twice as likely to develop depression post-divorce than women. Your husband is of course, because you lose half your stuff, maybe even half your pension. You have to pay child support. You have to go to court and battle with your wife for your kids. A good guy, but you're ready for divorce? You're not a bad person. No, it's just quit. Just quit. Walk away. And people ask why marriage doesn't seem very appealing these days. Yeah, if you're thinking about marriage in the West, you are stupid. I repeat, you are stupid. But I delved in a little bit deeper and I was wondering why would she give such ridiculous advice? And then I figured it out. Divorce recovery coach helped yeah. the mums heal after divorce. I think she's running out of customers and she's encouraging people to leave the partner so she Guys, what I'm trying to teach, what I'm telling you, it doesn't affect me money-wise. I don't get more money if you don't get married. I don't get more money if you get divorced. This is just my opinions. Hope you guys actually learn something from this video. She can make a bit of dollar, dollar, dollar.
If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. I had this friend some years back. She was my best friend in the whole wide world. We hung out constantly. I enjoyed her company. Highly intelligent woman, um, quite attractive, married. Husband is very attractive, very successful. Not only he has deep six figures. They own their New York apartment. He's funny, confident, definitely not a simp. They had everything. Not only did he provide for his family, she didn't work, but he cooked, he cleaned, he took care of the kids. He was emotionally open and available. Every time I'd come over and hang out with both of them, you know, he was so talkative and emotive and empathetic. I, I thought, wow, they're the perfect couple in my opinion. Um, two beautiful teenage children, perfect life. I used to drop things off at her house. She would tell me, oh, can you drop this off? And I would go over and he would be in the house cleaning. I mean, Ajax and Pine Sol and Windex and mops out. And he would ask me, you know, Demi, how- He was definitely a simp and I don't care if you don't agree with me. Yesterday, I went to the gym. My girlfriend cleaned the house. I came home, I ate, and then she asked me, are you going to make a video so I know when to clean this room? I do my work, she does hers, because I'm the provider. I, I, I can't even, I, I don't understand what, what those people are talking about. This is so absurd to me. How? I, I'm providing everything for you and I'm also doing the chores. I'm also cleaning the house. What is up with this? I can't even imagine how entitled women are in the West. How does everything look? Do you, do you think she'll be happy? Do you think she'll be happy? Can you be more of a simp? Um, is this up to a woman's standards of cleanliness? You know, he said, I just love her so much. And I, I would say, wow. That's what happens when you treat a woman like a unicorn. She's not a unicorn. She's just like you. She's just a human being. You know, you're, you're really incredible. Um, of course she's going to be happy. You know, you did an amazing job. He was the definition of the nice guy. And she got bored with him. So listen ahead, but she will get a divorce. You always do an amazing job. The relationship with my friend, something started changing in her. You know, she started talking to me about depression and she's overweight and, and she didn't like it. And it never bothered her husband. I mean, he adored her no matter what but she started complaining about her weight and this depression and saying that she needs to go to therapy, which she did. She found a therapist and started going. But after she started going to therapy, I noticed there was a... What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Therapists don't fix anything. They just make it worse. A dramatic change in her. Um, she started complaining after these sessions, she would begin complaining more and more about her husband. Of course, it's all his fault. He doesn't make me feel like that or like this. He doesn't give me the butterflies anymore. So I'm going, I'm going to get a divorce. It's so logical. You need a therapist for this, of course. And how he's making her miserable. And, and I would say to her, what do you mean? This is all of a sudden new for you since you started seeing this new therapist. So I started inquiring about the therapist. You know, what are her beliefs? Um, and she said, oh, she's very feminist. There you go, guys. There you go. That's what therapists nowadays, almost all of them are feminists. Almost all. So why? Would you go, why would you advise your girlfriend or your wife to go to a therapist? And then within a couple of months, you know, my friend began spiraling. Um, things got weirder and weirder for her. She was complaining more and more about her husband. She blamed this good man for everything. She took zero accountability. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You have to make me happy. You have to make me feel a certain way each day. If I don't feel excitement and I feel bored, it's your fault. It's always your fault. Um, how he's making her miserable. How he's keeping her fat. 
how he is to blame for her depression. And, and nobody's keeping you fat. If you don't want to be fat anymore, go on a diet, go to the gym, take accountability. How can somebody else keep you fat? How are they chaining you to the wall and feeding you, force feeding you? How? And no matter what I would say to her, I would always like reach some kind of dead end. She would come at me with something else. And then she started talking about divorce, that she'll be happy and her depression will lift and she'll finally be able to lose the weight once she gets rid of her husband. And I was trying so hard to talk to this woman and she would get angry with me. And I said to her one day, I don't want to say her name, but I said, hey, you know, what is it that he does that is so bad? Please just put it into words for me. Tell me, what does he do that is so bad? And she couldn't think of anything. And she sat there for a couple of minutes pondering. And then she came up with, he leaves apple cores on the nightstand. Oh that my God. Apple cores on the nightstand. So do I want a serious relationship? Yes. Do I want to go to apple orchards? Yes. Do I want to do all the cute stuff, take a vacation to my... So she wants all the benefits that come with a relationship, but th she doesn't want to put in any effort, any work. Miami, take the cute photos, cuddle on the couch. Oh, yes. Do I want to go on dates with men until I find that person? No. That's why I don't have one of those people. I would rather eat my arm off than go on a date. Nobody's forcing you. Why are you complaining on TikTok about this? Nobody cares. Nobody. Just be single. I really hate it when men are like, if I'm paying all the bills, then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house. I should come home to a meal. Uh, yeah, Miss Mann, of course. If your man is paying all the bills, he absolutely should be coming home to a home. Man. I just finished the gym. I texted my girlfriend. I'm coming home. She put the meal on. I, I arrived home. I ate and now I'm making a video. I don't get it. This is normal. How are people so entitled? Made warm meal waiting for him yeah. on the table when he is ready to eat. And not only that, his house should be spotless. Yeah. And you should be very appreciative of it, waiting for him at the door. No, she would rather work for a boss, for a company that doesn't care about her instead of working for her man, for her family. No. It's so crazy to me, guys. I swear, I can't understand. Looking your best, ready to give him that Gawk Gawk 3000 throat goat. But carry on. If I wasn't here, you would still be paying the bills. <laughs> the things that you do that you consider is for our marriage, you would be doing if you were single. Yes, you're correct. As an adult, we have to pay bills. But if you have a man that is paying bills and you are now included in that man's life, those bills multiply. So I don't really understand where you're coming from when you're saying that he would have to pay bills regardless if you're there or not. You are an added expense. And again, he is paying all the bills. Where is your appreciation for that? But again, carry on. When you get benefits from your job, I don't really get those benefits. You do. Completely incorrect. If you are actually a wife of a man that is receiving benefits, you are privy to those benefits. You are privy to his insurance. You're privy to his 401k. You're privy to all of those things. So I, again, don't understand where you're coming from. Ladies, have you ever wondered why some men choose Wonder Bread women over you? And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? There are three reasons why this happens and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. And even though some men might appreciate the way you look, they are gonna choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as much money or time to impress that's that's when she gets it wrong ma'am that's only in the west i can get 
a girl that looks exactly like you or even better that you consider wonder bread that doesn't have so many high standards as you and doesn't need as much money as you that's why are uh, that's why men are going to other countries that's why the passport bros are such a high uh, such a big thing now which brings me to reason number two, Wonder Bread will change herself for a man, a croissant will not, okay? Wonder Bread will become a grilled cheese, an avocado toast, a PB&J, any day of the week, depending on what he wants. A croissant, on the other hand, it's kind of like take it or leave it, as in, you might not be as willing to compromise or change your life. Of course, because I'm perfect. This, this just doesn't make any sense, guys. Just think about it. If you're a guy, and maybe you're not that tall, or maybe you, you're a bit heavier. If you want to attract the women that you want, then you have to compensate with something else. You're not that tall. Okay, you get more money. You get to the gym. You look better. And then you can attract the, the women that you want. You're, you're more heavier. You go to the gym. You lose weight. You look better. You can attract the women that you want. They, on the other hand, they are perfect. They will never change anything for a man. They will never compromise because they are perfect. You have to take me exactly as I am. If not, it's your fault. Men are trash. Men are trash because they don't want me exactly as I am lifestyle for a guy and the third reason is wonder bread is less maintenance okay wonder bread you break it apart there are no crumbs with a croissant a lot of crumbs and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it but here's the of course why would i deal with an entitled high maintenance woman when i can get a, a woman that looks the same or even prettier that doesn't need all of those why it's not logical if you do that you're just stupid you're just stupid you're a simp Thing. The people that like croissants love croissants and they don't even look at Wonder Bread. So don't try to change yourself, but instead embrace all of your flaky French layers because the right person is going to adore them. I mean, that love to come after me. Okay, great. You're a girl boss. Great. You're a doctor. You're a lawyer. You own your own business. You're making six figures. Great. What are you working? Five, six, seven days a week? What are you working? Eight hour days? Nine hour days? Ten hour days? Because you are such a girl boss? Okay, so basically you don't have time to be a partner. You sure as fuck don't have time to be a mother. And anyone that marries you and wants to have a kid with you, you're basically going to have to give up all that. And what are you going to want to do as a girl boss? You're going to want to claim your independence. You're not going to want to yeah. give those things up. So naturally to a man who's ready to have those things that has money, you're like the least ideal candidate partner. I she is so right. But if I say that... I would be called a misogynist. Of course, of course. I can think of. Yo, I am officially off the market. I'm still single. I'm just giving up. Then why are you making TikToks for attention? If you gave up, you shouldn't make TikToks. If you are a man who likes assertive women, aka women that see what they want and like and go and get it, where the f do y'all be hanging out? There is no man that want assertive women. We don't want to be in a relationship with another man. To have to argue all the time. To have a woman in our life that is very competitive. We don't want that. We want peace. This is an example of another woman that doesn't understand what men want. That's why she's single. That's why she can't find a man and she has to make TikToks like this. Because wherever that is... I want to be there. You want to know why? Because yes, I do want you to chase me. I do want you to pursue me. I do want you to do everything in your power to try to win me over. But I also want to chase you and pursue you. But for some reason, the average man doesn't want that or like that. Of course not, ma'am. Because if you pursued me, you pursued another 10, 20 men before me. And you pursue me just because you know I have money or I have a certain status. I want a girl to not know any of those things. I want to go on a date without her knowing how much money I have, uh, my status, anything like that. And if she is not shy and she is so uh, extroverted like her, do you really think, do you th really think that you're the only man she, she asked on a date? No, there are 10, 20 other men. And do you think those men said, no, oh, I don't want to smash. I want to wait three months. No, she's clearly, she has a high body count. If you want a woman like that, good luck to you.
which puts me in a very difficult position because I love a chase. I love a good chase. And I know that as a woman, that shouldn't be my role. But I can't help it. This is who I am. This is yes, you're very masculine, ma'am. This is who I've been my whole entire life. And every girlfriend I've ever had always tells me that I need to stop doing that because that's the reason I'm single. And you're probably right. But I don't know how to change that. And even if I did, I don't think I want to change it. I like who I am. Yeah. You have to take me as I am. I, I don't need to change anything about me. I'm a princess. I'm perfect. Men have to fall from the sky and Prince Charming has to just find me with all my problems, with all my defects. I don't have to work on anything because I'm perfect. But now the problem is, is just figuring out where to find the type of men that I need in my life. So what is your plan if nobody decides to marry you? Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. I really just let a medium ugly man make me sit here all day wondering if he's gonna text me. Medium ugly man. This is not the first time I've heard a woman say this. What's wrong with me? Women who are dating and are over 30 will very much understand this. That blood boiling feeling you get when someone says to you, maybe you're just expecting it too much. Like it happened when I least expected that. Can we just normalize expecting it, especially if you're putting yourself out there? Like I'm putting myself out there right now. So yes, I expect to find a man that I vibe with. I expect to find a man to treat me like a priority. I expect to find a man that will cherish me and love Man, just because you expect all those things, it doesn't mean that they will happen. <laughs> Love me and i expect to have a loving healthy relationship dating in your 30s is absolutely wild by this age we've all been traumatized we all got baggage You've no ma'am that's only you i have not been traumatized i don't have any baggage <laughs> got the emotionally unavailable the chronic daters that are just back to back dating everybody like save some for the rest of us you've got the hopeless romantics you've got the people that are being loyal to somebody that's already moved on and don't even want them um like it's just it's if all that wasn't enough to dredge through y'all really went and took it a whole nother level feral savages um do you boo live your best life I'm somebody's wife, and I'm gonna need y'all to come get me because this shit is out of control. I was not built for it. Is she asking people to come rescue her from her marriage because she wasn't built for this marriage? Maybe, maybe I listened to that. I, I understood that wrong. Let me know down in the comments. Dating in your 30s. Let me tell you, I just got told, well, maybe I'll get lucky. And you know what? You know what I told him? I said, I'm not out looking for luck or a fuck for that matter. I, I am looking for quirky and weird and spontaneous. I am looking for coffee dates. Why weren't you looking for that in your 20s, ma'am? Then you could have any man that you wanted. Now it's a bit too late. And lazy Sundays watching movies. I'm looking for a Target trip that takes a Gilligan's Island tour turn. And three hours later. Fantasies. Disney fantasies. There were two towns over trying a new restaurant. I'm not trying to get lucky. I totally got ghosted, you know, and I'm processing. I'm sitting over here like, what the fuck? I'm 34 years old and this shit is still happening. But then I'm like, you know yeah. what? It's a blessing in disguise because do I really want this kind of energy in my life? Another woman talking about energy. Do I want somebody who is incapable of properly communicating? Do I want someone that does not respect my time? No, ma'am, that guy just didn't care. That's why he ghosted you. I have comments from some of you guys. Oh, but if you're a honorable man uh, and uh, you really don't care, then you should tell her because you don't care about the consequences. Because I, I, I told you guys that women can handle the truth. That is so stupid to me. How can you think like that? If you don't care about football, about soccer, you don't watch it. You don't talk about it. If I don't care about a woman, I'm not going to stay there and explain or say anything because I don't care. I just ghost her. That's what happens when you don't care about something. 
You don't give it attention. No, I really don't. So it is a blessing, but like, it still fucking sucks, you know? Out with the old, in with the new. Of course she doesn't care. That's why she's making TikTok videos about this subject. Because she doesn't care. Right? Dating today is so hard. Okay. I am 35. And I've realized that at 35, half of the people you know get divorced. And then start dating again. So I have all these friends in their mid-30s. I would advise, and this is just my opinion, any man to get married only after 30, only after you have your finances in order, only when you're smarter, because when you're young, you're dumb. When I was in my 20s, I was dumb as shit. I really was. And I didn't know anything about life. When you're over 30 and you have a, a stable career and you know what you want and you're developed and you, you went through life and you've seen all the stuff you need to see, then you can make a logical decision about getting married. That's my opinion, guys. Who are dating for the first time in like 10 to 15 years. And this shit is wild. A good number of them are seeing men who are a lot younger than us. Yeah. Like early to mid 20s yes because that's the only kinds of men that they can attract because men in their 30s men that are 35 don't want women like them and this is not passing judgment this is strictly an observation like you do you and one of these friends was like you don't understand they have no baggage no trauma they are just happy to be here yeah that's why I'm telling you the same with women. Women in their 20s don't have so much baggage, don't have so much trauma. They don't have such a high body count. And the chance that she's been alpha widow is a lot, lot lower. No shit. They just graduated college. They're still on their parents' health insurance. No memory of 9-11. They did not know Britney Spears pre-head shaving incident. Good. They didn't miss anything. I love these friends, but they are the trauma. Every day, these young men put my friend, her three kids. So she's a single mom. <laughs> her insanely high mortgage payment she's freaking out about all the time. Her ex-husband, who we all said was a dick, but she never listened to us. Her boomer parents, generally, he takes all that shit and he puts it in a bag. And he's going to carry that baggage along for many, many years. Yes, and then he will have trauma and then he will start to listen to Red Pit channels like mine. And he will wake up to reality. And he will understand why he made a bad decision dating an older woman with kids, especially with kids. <laughs> And one day his wife's going to complain about it and talk about how all these dudes have so much baggage. But they didn't in their early 20s until my hot ass friend pulled up in her minivan. He'll unpack it one day. But I mean, go get him. This shit's so fucking wild. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. And hope, I really hope, you learn something from this video and you try you try to move to another country or forget about marriage in the west